my name is Lisa Besso, and I work for Embassy English here in uh, Melbourne, Australia. The, the reason we wanted to get into M Learning is that Embassy, we've always positioned ourselves as being kind of ahead of the curve with technology in the ESL, EFL classroom. And it's, it's been about four years now that we've had uh, IWBs in the classroom, and we know that technology is a big part of what we do and what we sell and why students choose us. Um, understanding that students are walking around with devices, we know it's a part of their lives and we want to incorporate their lives into the classroom experience. So we invested in getting um, class sets of, of iPads last year. So at that point, a lot of teachers didn't have them. And we wanted to get them into the teacher's hands. It's not only a tool for students, but a tool for teachers. Um, and that way, teachers being as creative as they are can bring their ideas in. Well, there, there are two sides to the challenges. There are the challenges that are brought about by the fact that we are providing the technology to the teachers and to the students. And then, of course, is that we've got sort of $500 devices out there, 20 or so of them, and you know, being sure that we have a tracking system and a, and a way to be sure that, that they don't disappear um, has been one challenge. The second challenge is that we needed a way to make sure that they're charged all the time. So we had to sort of, you know, relegate someone to making sure that the devices are ready to use when the teacher is ready to use them. Does that become a teacher's responsibility? Does it become the staff's responsibility? In any case, it's, it's someone's responsibility to physically manage the devices and their charging. Also, um, iTunes accounts, who I, who's iTunes account? Do we have one iTunes account? Can students um, download apps on our devices? All of those things really have to be thought through. The biggest stumbling block we found is this slow or intermittent uh, wireless access. So um, we're updating our systems, but that's a huge part of it. We tend to think, well, apps are self-contained and you don't necessarily need to use the internet with them, but I, I think it's foolish to think that way because more and more the apps depend on connectivity. And then, uh, another challenge which hasn't been too difficult to overcome was staff resistance at first. And of course, we're all working in environments where teachers are not you know, very, very highly paid. They see us as investing in equipment over investing in them. Um, and that one is, is, a, is a tricky one um, to manage and you have to expect that that's going to happen. And the, the way that we've tried to do that is to help teachers understand that this is adding to their skill set. Uh, it's giving them another way to be better at what they do. Um, and what has really helped is getting devices in the hands of people that just are so passionate and excited about using them. Um, they tend to spread that energy around and the enthusiasm around and get the other teachers. And often I think teachers are just mystified and once you show them a small task and why oh, you can do this one thing and it opens up this whole world to them. Um, it was a completely different experience than trying to introduce IWBs into the classroom. I'd say you really have to, to, to think your ideas through and what you're going to do with the technology. The technology shouldn't be the lesson, but the technology should add to the lesson. Um, some tools can be used throughout an entire lesson, some tools can be used as a portion of the lesson. I think it's easy to, to really get excited and carried away with everything that we can possibly do with these devices, but you really have to think in practical terms about how that, that piece of technology is going to be used. I, I was in Korea recently and, I, and I, um, I got up to give a presentation and I showed my stack of Apple devices and nobody was impressed at all because they all have their, their Samsung devices. So I, I, I think when we live in countries where Apple is dominant, it's easy to think iPad, iPhone, um, but in fact a lot of our students, or they have no interest in that. Uh, they, have, they have their own Samsung devices, so um, we have to really think about the entire you know, spectrum of devices that are out there, and that's only going to get bigger.